Derek Vetter, and I'm the eHow dog training expert. And what I want to talk about in this video is the Canine Good Citizen Test. There's 10 steps that your dog has to pass in order to become a certified Canine Good Citizen, and your dog has to pass all 10. In this video, I'm going to talk about part four, which is walking on leash. Here's the thing. When you go for the test, your dog is not allowed to have a prong collar on or a gentle leader. The only thing they allow is a slip collar and a flat buckle collar. So once you show up for the test and when you get to part four, what your dog is required to do is you have to demonstrate that they can do a left turn, a right turn, an about turn, and a stop. And watch this next part of the video to see exactly what I'm talking about. Fourth part of the Canine Good Citizen test, the dog is required to go for a loose leash walk. And there can be no tension on the leash. And as I said, you're not allowed to use a choke collar, a prong collar, or a gentle leader. And what they're going to require you to do is a left turn. A right turn. An about turn. Stop. And then to start up again. So you can see what your dog is required to do. And remember, it has to be on a flat collar or a slip collar. Before you go to the test, make sure your dog is good on leash. We have a lot of great videos on walking here on the eHouse site. You can check those out to see exactly how to get your dog to walk. But the thing is, is that you have to make sure that it's a very slack leash and that you have verbal control over your dog. You're not allowed to give any corrections. You're not allowed to use treats or toys or anything like that. So practice getting your dog to walk on a nice loose leash before you go to the test. Thanks for watching this video and good luck.